They're gonna start it and pull it out for us. GMB here in the building and by the title of today's video you guys already know we are shopping for a third car and we are bringing you guys along with us and we want your guys's thoughts and you know opinions. opinions I'm super excited before we begin this video subscribe and hit the post notification and if you haven't already this is gonna be a fun little video um we're gonna be stopping by a, a couple of dealerships just to check out a couple of cars but basically the car that we are trying to look for is a bigger car and it's not because of what do you guys think we might look at some corvettes because he your boy likes that. no but we want to look at bigger cars because we do have a suv but it's not an suv it's really small in the back my trunk is pretty big but it's really small in the back and the dogs always like slip and slide and garik wants to stop driving his car so much yeah because so. my car is like dangerous and it like speaks to me so i just need a i want to keep the red eye fresh and clean in 10 years and sell it for half a milli maybe you don't know maybe keep it for a collector's item i really don't want to put hella mileages on my uh on the hellcat i really want to make it an antique like that red eye is like one of a kind and especially G <laughs> g's hellcat you know they have three big ass dobermans we need a bigger car because we do want to be going and doing stuff and most of the time when we take all three of them with us me and garak have to take separate cars because Scar and Nitro, we just get scared if like one of them accidentally like bumps into each other and like just so, like growling and stuff. So it's gonna be fun because every time we pull up to a dealership, guys, they try to sell us a car so oh, bad. Oh, so fast, yeah. So bad. You they're guys like, will see right now. They're like trading your car, trading your Hellcat for this. Like, yeah, it's so time. funny, guys. Hopefully, we can catch another video for you guys. But let's go hit the first dealership. All right, guys, we are pulling up to the first dealership. If you guys can guess. If you guessed Chevrolet, you are correct. Ooh, baby. I like this, but I like the Z06 more. So like, let's say I wanted a Corvette, I would have to order it. I would have to order a Z06. It's so small inside, bruh. What are they asking for? I don't know, where's the sticker? It's probably marked up like, fuck. This is called Adrenaline Red. Adrenaline Red? Really this is what I would choose right here. Sky Cool Gray. Look, 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 oh, this is what I would choose, look. Like. Right here. Yeah, that's the adrenaline red. Oh, dude, this is what I want, guys. Look, you could choose your seatbelt color, too. Guys, convince Brittany. I'd probably get this color. Look at this one right here. They're asking for 94K, which is not bad at all. They usually mark it up to, like, 150K. This is nice. Oh, dude, I like this a lot. Guys, I just want to say something real quick before we head to the other one. Um, like, we walked in there, and they respect us way more than they used to. Like, at least me, because long time ago, when you guys, if you guys are OG fans, the OG fans, remember, we had a Kia Optima, and then we got the E-Class. But whenever I had the Kia Optima, I pulled up to a Dodge dealership, and I was looking at the red eyes, the Charger red eyes, and Brittany was with me. She's literally like a witness. I was trying to grab somebody to help me look at the red eye, and I was asking questions and he was just so dry with me and like he wanted to end conversation so quick and No, like, and then he was like he was like, oh, I have this one for you And then we walked outside and it was a scat pack and no like no hates the scat packs We've been making jokes and stuff like, I was like, trying to look at the red eye dude like and now I own a red eye you fucking bald fuck If oh you remember God. me, you're a bitch. No disrespect to scat packs like it's like a joke I think between like the car community and stuff, you know, so when we make those there jokes, ain't no like, nobody... snack packs Yeah, see like those jokes. I don't stuff. think scat packs deserve the wide body. I'm <laughs> my personal American owner decision I think the Hellcats and the red eyes should have the wide body feature oh, can, I get for you? Hi. can I get a one number? Moral of the story is now that they respect me, it's like weird. And, they switched up. And like, the other, the other thing is like they look at who's gonna like walk in. Yeah, they and do. Choose and, who they wanna like. And the it's other weird. thing that I wanna say is like give some advice to new time buyers. Don't be excited when you know you're gonna get the car. 
because yeah. they will they will put it up your ass dude like and then i think the other thing don't let them swindle you because uh, i'm sorry to all the salesmen who are supporters but y'all we be know assholes. the game we know the game and i get it that's not, respect, it's not cool but you gotta but do what you gotta, you gotta do, do i guess what you gotta do the hustle's real like respect is given but we're gonna yeah. go check out what the other chevrolet has and then right after that we're gonna hit bmw so stay tuned i don't know i don't like this <laughs> i don't like this at all there's an ss right there but no, I don't really like Cor uh, Camaros, except the ZL1, yeah. So this is a 3LT convertible. I feel like the one we saw was better. No spoiler? Damn. Yeah, I don't think a lot of them have, like, common spoilers. They look like hunchback. They look like a hunchback. Like, they're trying to get bent over. So I guess they only have two Corvettes. Let's go to BMW, bro. Oh, that's what I want right there. Jeez, baby, let me get that. Guys, comment down below. If you guys would want the Z06. I know a lot of them, a lot of people I was gonna are talk. No. All right guys, so one of the options is the Z06 no, Corvette. Not. So and the reason that's why number I'm one. Gonna, I'm gonna tell them right now. What, what? Talk your shit. <laughs> the reason why I don't really want the Z06 is because I honestly think that a better fit, like if we were to get a, uh, uh, what's it called? The convertible is a McLaren, you guys. That's just my personal opinion. I love McLarens. Like, I love the way that they look. And then some of y'all are probably right, gonna be like... let's go look at a McLaren. I mean, we can, but I'm, I'm saying right then. now... Okay, wait. I'm saying right now, Z06 compared to a McLaren, like, for me... Babe, I but the new Z06 beats a Dodge Demon on a roll and a start. But I don't care what it and beats. And it beats a Ferrari and it beats a Lambo Huracan but Performante. Who cares? What you do you mean? But you've said, but you've it's said. It's not even an American but, car anymore. It's like they're, they're su supercar. But, you, but you've said it doesn't matter about speed. Well, at the end of the day, guys, we do need a family car. So this is like at like, ta like fourth place right now. You, you, you've but been telling me it's not about speed. I'm not even arguing. I don't care. I know, but you've told me before it's not about speed. Because yeah, God but like you're comparing it to the McLaren when this could beat a McLaren. That's like you saying you want a Urus. And I'm like, I don't want a Urus because I, I have my X6. And I'm like, my X6 beats a Urus. And you're like, bro, it's not always about speed. So here you're contradicting yourself. Yeah, but I would pick the Z06 over a McLaren, in my opinion. No, I would pick but the McLaren. But guys, Z06 is um, on the you're list. You're fucking, what's it called? Comment Steve? down below. We're going to go to the BMW. There's so many regular, like, not right. There's the same X6 M comps. But Let, like, let's they compare look so, it. They look so naked. like. So look, this is Britney's. You know, all murdered out. The Batmobile. The Britmobile, actually. That's what a regular one looks like. <laughs> it literally looks naked. It's crazy, like, what, what like, small changes can do to a car. What do you think about this? No, this is the old X7. So we want to look at the new X7. Which is it X7? Side. What is this? XM. XM? What the fuck? This is low key sick. What the heck? What the? F this is pretty cool. Look at the inside. What the heck? Bro, look at the steering wheel. Nothing changed. Dude, they need to fix the steering wheels, bro. Like, look, nothing changed. It's like so the basic. It's like a Honda steering wheel, bro. Not No shade to Hondas, but... Dude, this is cool. It's like, oh my god, it's like velvet. Wait, does it? Velvet. You, what is it called? How do you make it go back? What do you call this? Alcantara. Alcantara. Velvet. I said velvet. I know, velvet. Bro, the seats are oh sick, my, bro. My, my. I heard these are fast, too. Yeah, this is the new XM. This has 600 and something horsepower. Yo, I wouldn't mind this low key. Oh, babe, this, look at this room. This is crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, this is pretty cool. But this is the X7. So guys, this is like one option for like the family car. Look at that feature. I really like the interior of that one. I feel like this is like the same as your car. A little bit bigger. Look at the trunk space. And then when you put these down. And there's another row of seats right here. There's another row. You put these up. This is an option. Oh shit. About to take off like 50 max for this. Look at the, the i7 right there. No, but that's the old one. Is that the old one? No. Is that the one with the TV? I don't think so, no. This is the electric. Guys, this is one option, but with the TV, guys. No, it doesn't have the TV. My parents have one of these. They have the 740i. You guys saw that when we went to Vegas. I told you guys the options for the BMWs. We're going to go look at Mercedes now. So, we're at Mercedes on Van Nuys. Um, Honestly? Our, our main look for is a G-Wagon or an S-Class. I really want the S63, but that shit's expensive. That shit's like 300 bands. 300K, 350K. This car run is not, we're not doing a good job. Like, like that's nice, that S-Class is nice, but I would get ready because it's low-key. Yeah. 
I don't like the G580s or G550s, I mean. Sheesh, look at that. S-Class. We just asked about the S63s, guys. They're about to be like oh, yeah. two, 200K. My other dream car is actually a GT. 63S. This is GT43. Yeah. It's a little dog. It looks like Hunchback though, kind of. But I really like the S Class, guys. If I didn't have dogs, I would for sure cop an S Class. Like, look at this dude. Oh, look at that G Wagon. This is the G Wagon I like, but I don't know about the color. The interior. I love the click of it. Guys, I love the clicking sound. Watch, watch. I know. I've it. always liked that noise. That's the best, dude. I this love the steering hella wheel. Small. Hello, small. I like it, but it's really small. Ugh. I could see you in a in a G wagon though. Oh, I didn't close it right. Hold on, I gotta hear the click. I like, love the steering wheel. This is small though. I don't. You think you guys can't tell? Your knee is small like, and like look. Like look, my legs are like. I could see myself in this though. I could G see, wagon. Yeah. This is okay. So I would have gotten this if Greg never got my car. So I probably would have waited and gotten a G wagon. Number one, these are marked up hella because we did see them a long time ago. Remember they're asking us. 40 down for four a month. Tripping, but that was a long time fuck? ago. I don't know what it is now, and we would probably order one so we don't get a markup. I like it, but honestly, this is like, yeah. this is not dog friendly. Nah, it's not. You would have to trade in your car if you really wanted it. Yeah, like the, the only thing that is pretty dog friendly is this back right here. Let's see the price of it. What did it say? 200K. I couldn't fucking get out of this. The fucking exterior is really ugly. I don't like this color at all. I like this one. Dude, what is this? You could ride on it? There's no way you can ride on it. What the heck? But this better be like five bucks. <laughs> oh, this is a G wagon right here. Oh yeah, that's the one that he was selling. Us. With the red interior? Yeah, guys, this is something I would get. These interiors are nice, but this shit looks like an egg. Um, Look. But with the exterior of the G wagon, I would do the frost white. Have you seen the map frost white? Yeah, that's probably what we would do. We are at Dodge oh, Russell Westbrook. Loud. We are the trying to TRX look at the TRXs. Cause <laughs> look, look, look at the all black Oof, one. Look at these, bro. This is a highly, highly, top highly of top of our list. But what do you guys think? And for sure, I would tune it to a thousand horsepower, make it a mammoth. Wait, is this somebody's carpet? I don't think so. Is it? No, no. Look, oh, there's a sticker, right? this thing's a monster. You guys see Brittany in this? I can see definitely three Dobermans in this bitch. I know. <laughs> look at Brittany driving this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, Brittany would be a menace in this bitch, bro. Maybe something that you guys don't know about the TRX is it actually has gun compartments. That's probably one of the coolest things in a car. Well, it's like storage, gun compartment, but I oh, think yeah. the gun compartments are I would have my underneath. Glockiana in that bitch. <laughs> Goodbye. I can see Garg in this. You're not supposed to grab onto the, the thing, baby. You're supposed to grab right here. Baby, you look hella little in this, too, though. <laughs> Do you want a bow on it? Maybe, it's an option. <laughs> Look what? at this. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, that's... That's, that's so crazy. Is that like the new add-ons? I don't know. I think someone added that. That is crazy. I like that. Have you seen the one where they put the big uh, logo on the side I of it? for sure add the T-Rex to the side, bro. I'm yeah, sorry. ooh, sorry, honey. That shit looks so that good. That is fucking I would, hard. I would honestly take the RAM off and add just that onto the side. Guys, this is an option. Let us know down in the description. But we have a big competitor with this. Yeah, and very, very, very top of our list, big competitor. But we wanted to come and check out a couple of other ones just in case anything. And then, honestly, these Jeeps are not too bad too, but it's like... If I got a Jeep like that, I'm making it a six by six. Yeah, those shits are insane. Let's just see if they have any track hogs, guys. All right, guys, so they have a yellow one. Wow, this is actually nice. I like, I, I like that thing that they added on the side. You know what they should add on the side right here? Huh? A bee with the red eye. Dude, get out of here. It has yellow accents. Yeah. See, if you guys like yellow, this is pretty cool. But look at all of this room, you guys. Dude, I really like this low key. This is my favorite thing, too. Look how deep this goes. I really like this truck. I know. I love everything about this. Look at this Jeep, guys. This is actually such a cute color. They can't even see the color, babe. Why? Oh, in person, it's in, It's show. like I mean, mint green, no, guys. This is hella nice, so. Damn. What are you playing Michael Jackson in this bitch? That's not my. I really got my eyes on the TRX now. I don't know. Hard decision, but this next one is gonna compete, and you guys will see. So, stay tuned for this one. So we are at Cadillac. An option is to order the Escalade B. Look at this. I just have one in here. So it looks like this, but sporty. Sporty. 
guys, this is the regular one. Doesn't have the exhaust tips like the Escalade V. But we have to order it, and it's a $5,000 down payment. Not a down payment, um, order payment. Well, this is the interior. Brittany's mom has this one, actually. I'm personally gonna order it right now, just to see it when it comes. I could get my 5,000 back if I don't like it. TRX or this, guys, comment down below. It is the next day currently, and um, we were at the Escalade dealership last night you saw, but um, we found another dealership that has the V, so we're gonna go look at it for you guys and for us. Cash, Ryan in the building. Let's go. So we're gonna go look at this. Um, my cousin's gonna pull through too, so we're gonna just go look at it. I told you guys, the Escalade V is at the top of the list with the TRX. G-Wagon, TRX, or the Escalade V, top three. But uh, uh, I know you guys are probably wondering too, like, oh, like, why wouldn't the G-Wagon be at the top of the list? Like, G-Wagon's like hard as fuck, like. No, there's top three. I don't know. I, I just feel like a G-Wagon when we went to go see it, like I, I showed you guys, it just felt really small still. Uh, Escalade V is at the top of my list. Yeah, yeah, mine is either a TRX or the Escalade V. I don't know. Escalade. But we want your guys' input, so let's go look at the Escalade V. All right, guys, we have arrived at the Cadillac of Thousand Oaks. But look at the kitty. We brought the beast out today. Guys, it's literally right there. Sheesh. Wow, dude. This shit looks aggressive. The V right here. Let's look at the quads. Sheesh. I love the interior. Look at this color. On pictures, it didn't look that nice, but yeah, now in person, it's it's perfect for the dogs, huh? Guys, they're gonna start it for us. Brown, what do you think, bro? This is fire. This is too tough. <laughs> look at the steering wheel, bro. Too I, tough. I wouldn't even change the steering wheel, bro. Yeah, steering wheel stuff. You look good in that, bro. I want to see how you would look in there. I look little. The face of it is aggressive. Like, look at this face. This is still nice, though. Like, seeing my mom's is like, is like crazy, you know? But this one has that, like, it, like mean, demanding face. Like. Let's see what, how Brittany looks inside look of little. it. I look really little. <laughs> They're going to start it and pull it out for us. Bro, it's going to be loud. I'm so excited. I want to record it. Yeah, record it on your phone. Damn, none of the other dealerships let us, like, test drive or, like, look. look. Really? Yeah. They're like, let's run your credit. I'm like, bro, I got pick up my credit. I just ran it. Cat outside. Yo. That's nice. Now that's a Cadillac. It literally sounds like your car turning on. A little louder. That's louder than my car when it turns on. Sounds insane. It sounds so good. Can I see the trunk? Black tips. Oh, you could do it with your foot. Well, you have the key. Oh, the key? Is the key red? Huh? Is the key red? Just like the red eye key. Hey, rev that joint, rev that joint, rev that joint. My cuz came through. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, bro. What you think about the car, bro? Badass. Big boy. Hey, look, look at his car, though. Batmobile over there. This car, oh my gosh. <laughs> it makes me want it so bad. Like, this is insane, you guys. Like, I haven't seen a V in real life, and the fact that it's, like, right here. Oh, my God, the way that I'm looking at it right now looks so long. Like, on camera, it doesn't look long, but to me, this shit looks hella long. <laughs> you guys, Garg's in love right now. Let me know if you guys want us to get this one, and also let me know if you guys want us to get another dog. You guys have to spam in the comments, though, Garg. Let Brittany get another Doberman. Look at this guy. Oh shit, that's tough. Tough. Are you, are you enjoying yourself? I'm living life right now, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys, look, I can watch Hulu, YouTube, YouTube Kids. Good thing I just got Hulu too. What percent are the tints already? 35%. Oh my gosh. That's guessing. Oh my gosh. Those pops are insane. I bet you people be looking for what's it called? They're looking for a ZL1 when they hear those pops. Sounds like see. a Corvette. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna drive. You're gonna have to fill up right now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just like in awe right now. You guys, look at that engine. It smells so good. <laughs> Uh, guys, I love it. 
but we're not gonna make any final decisions today. We're gonna listen to what your guys' opinions are and see it over, but this is like low key. Like they let me drive it, which is cool. And a shout out to Carlos from Cadillac Thousand Oaks for letting us whip it. Yeah, it's without guy, even running our credit. The that guy was at amazing. the at the Russell Westbrook on Van Nuys. He was trying was to like, make me run my credit. Yeah, he's like, he's like, oh, they, it's wanna, like they want to mess up he's your like, credit. Oh, if you want to drive, you gotta, you got, I gotta run your credit. I don't even know if I caught that on camera, but I, but he said that, and I was like, bro, we already driven this car. We're gonna sleep on it and see your guys' thoughts and see what car we're gonna get, guys. Excited, guys. We found the ZL6. This might be one of the options. ZL7 package. It just doesn't have the red interior guard ones. I don't know, guys. Comment down below. We found the ZL6. This is insane. This beats a Dodge Demon off roll. Guys, they're gonna start it up for us. I could drive it. Ah, <laughs> uh, that would be dangerous in this. Bro, this might be an option, bro. Comment down below. I'll show you guys the interior. I'm personally a fan of red. Red or blue. Carbon steering for sure. But uh, guys, it's going 50k over sticker. Wow bro, that would be this would be dangerous, guys. If G had his hands on this, this would be dangerous. Guys, comment down below. ESV or GO6. I mean, I do need a big car. That's the only downside. <sighs> All right, guys, we are home. Um, after we saw the car, basically Brittany went with her family. So, and then I went and played billiards with the boys and now we're home. What did you think about the Escalade V? Honestly, you guys, I, I love a big car, but a piece of me is like, damn, really a third car. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's like I want a third car, but it's like something's holding me back And it's like my biggest problem is is new beginnings If you guys have that problem too, let me know like I I don't want to say I hate new beginnings like when new beginnings happen for me It's like so uncomfortable at first. I become comfortable. You know what I'm talking about and then once it becomes uncomfortable for me I like get nervous. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. I like always just get nervous it's a nervous feeling guys, but um, let us know what you guys think what car you think fits with us and we will try to make it happen The banks are like very bad right now Like even if you have amazing credit, which I have and you know, it's just not up to that no more Comment down below. We want to see your guys input and which car your guys favorite and we will look at the comments and Oh wait, I wanted to tell them there was one car that we didn't go and look at which one? But it, it like wouldn't make sense for us to get it. But if you guys want us to go see, like want us to go see that car, the SUV Maybach. You like that? No, but we were looking at SUVs, so like why we have not? Dogs, maybe. Yeah, we do have dogs, but like it would be cool to go look at it. So I don't know. Yeah. If you guys want a part two, maybe we'll go look at more cars. Leave us suggestions on what cars you guys see us in, and put our eyes on the Escalade mm -hmm. V, the G Wagon, or the TRX. Let us know, guys. We love you guys, and stay safe. We love you guys. G team all the way and it's not G team, it's B team all the way. Love you all so much. Stay tuned for the next video. Let us video. know.